The Minnesota legislature held a special session today. For the first time since the pandemic began, the Republican Senate did not hold a vote on ending the governor's emergency powers. WCCO's Esme Murphy joins us now from the Capitol. So Esme, does that mean that Republicans are suddenly on board with the governor? Uh, no, it doesn't, Amelia. I can tell you that. Republicans say they agree with the governor that the COVID situation is very, very serious, but they continue to disagree with his use of emergency powers, and they'd like to see a lot more things around the state open up, including schools. In a phone call with top state officials, Governor Tim Walz said the COVID situation is critical and is challenging the state like it has never been challenged in its history. House DFL leaders in a Zoom conference call agree. It's clear we are in a state of emergency with COVID-19 in Minnesota. Uh, the numbers are grim. The situation is dire. Democrats call on Republicans to unite behind the governor, who this week announced new COVID restrictions for bars and restaurants, wedding and funeral receptions, and private gatherings, including Thanksgiving dinners. Republicans have been criticizing these new guidelines and today proposed a bill restricting the governor's emergency powers. It would allow the legislature to overturn emergency orders after 30 days. And the governor has uh, has kept us in the dark. So, uh, you know, we learn about the, the new restrictions from the press in many cases. Um, and, and unfortunately, we have no participation in actually coming up with the direction for how we respond to COVID. As for what Republicans would do differently, House Minority Leader Kurt Dowd says he would have worked more closely with the legislature, locked down nursing homes earlier, and despite the fact many school districts are struggling with COVID, he would open up the schools. I would have a resolution to this that would, uh, frankly, allow our school students to be back in school um, to get the education that they deserve. Now, that Republican proposal that would have limited the governor's powers did not pass. Overall, with a no, no vote at all in the Republican Senate, the response and critique of the governor was far more muted than it has been in the past, likely due to those soaring numbers we're seeing around the state. Just three weeks ago, Republican leaders in the House and Senate held a news conference outside the Capitol demanding that the entire state be opened back up. All right, Esme, thank you.